Hello friends, welcome back to the Selenium Tutorials. As we all know, the latest versions of Firefox do not support Firebug and Firepath. So in case we need to find the XPath, then what is the solution? In this tutorial, I would explain how we can fetch the XPath without the use of Firebug. So let's take this example. Suppose on this page, I need to find out the X path of this login button. This login button on the top right hand corner of the screen. If I need to find the X path without using Firebug and Firepath, what I'll do is I'll just take my pointer to this login button, do a right click. If you see the second last option, it is inspect element. I would click over there and below this kind of a pane this kind of a pane is similar to what we have already seen in the firebug and firepath but this is somewhat different we can use this pane to find out the xpath now uh, this was the login button for which we are finding the xpath in the pane it gets highlighted with this blue color now if you do a right click on this blue line you can see this option copy and within copy you have this option of xpath so when you click on xpath the xpath gets copied now on this notepad i am doing a control v so this is the xpath of this login button so we'll use this xpath in our script and check whether it works fine so let's go ahead and use this xpath just one point to note here if you see at id is equal to now they are using double quotes but in our script we would be using single quotes just remember to update the double quotes with single quotes now we can use this xpath to click on the login button so we'll use this xpath on our script this is the script so in this script i have already launched the browser and i have navigated to the page where the login button is present in the next step we'll do a click using the xpath which we just copied so the step would be obj dot find element by xpath and the xpath expression over here would be within double quotes and i will just paste the expression and we need to do a click so finally I am doing this click operation so we'll just execute this script and check whether this is working fine or not so this is the green button on the top I'm just clicking this and let's see whether it clicks on the button so if you'd see below it has started executing now in few seconds it would launch the browser it is it has launched the browser now it would navigate to the website The page is loading so the page has loaded and now the script has clicked on the login button and we get this error message because we did not provide any email ID and password so we see that the script is working fine and this method of extracting the xpath from the Firefox console works absolutely fine it is very simple but it has a disadvantage the disadvantage is that firebug had an inbuilt capability where we could create our xpath and check and evaluate whether the xpath which we have created are working fine or not so in my next tutorial i would be covering that section like uh, if we create our own xpath how can we evaluate the same so thanks for joining my videos and hope to see you in my next tutorial thank you bye bye